Hits and Crits. This video is brought to you by Asmodee. What's up, Hits and Crits family? Welcome to the second video on the Brotherhood Without Banners. And I'm really uh, thankful that my team colleague Martin is here with me today. Iceman, great to have you, man. Hey, Chris. Yes, thanks for having me again. Yeah. So this time, you all you probably have seen the, 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 the faction breakdown, the guide to the Brotherhood Without Banners, which we did with uh, Randall and with uh, Pascal a um, little, uh, little while back. And um, yeah, we basically came out that video saying uh, the Brotherhood within itself, with its four units, with the NCU portfolio, with the attachments, is quite a cool faction in itself, right? So, um, and and can be strong already, right? Or can be competitive, can be, can be, uh, is, is definitely, yeah, playable within itself. But today we want to focus on um, their... Uh, faction ability, so to say, to include um, a Stark unit or a Brathian unit, which uh, brings uh, and 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 I'm not spoiling anything here, which is bring brings a lot of like question marks out there in terms of can 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 this game stay balanced with 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 this yeah pretty peculiar or like pretty amazing uh, faction ability even so. Um, yeah, so 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 maybe we we, we we start right in with this. Um, so on the on the on the list building piece, um, we focused um, all three commanders and the fact that the faction can include Stark and Baratheon units. We also tried to include uh, neutral NCUs or neutral units into the into the list building. So um, yeah, and we brought three lists today. To basically show you our approach on how we would play uh, the Brotherhood as soon as they come out. So yeah, and to 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 kick things off, uh, Martin took a deeper look on how how big are the opportunities to list build with the Brotherhood. So yeah, Martin, maybe you can you can you you can you can um, guide us a little bit. But like the first question we had, or the uh, maybe maybe all of us you out there, you probably don't know how many units can the Brotherhood really take in list building? Yeah, YouTube. Yeah, now you can pause the video for two or three seconds and count and try to think of how many units it can be. Uh, I will say it's a lot. Yeah. So 21, 22, next page. <laughs> I was actually, I, I, yeah, I, I was actually not aware in the beginning. Like when we yeah. started talking about it, I, I, I mean, I had a rough feeling, but I was not really aware that it's that many. So the, so we're talking 15 Starks, 15 Baratheons, and 14 Neutrals. Um, yeah. So Martin, what do you think? That That brings them to what? 48 or like like 44 yeah 44 yeah, 40, yeah. 40, 40, yeah. 40, 40, 40, 48 in total yes that's correct yeah but yeah 48 is it's crazy four units doesn't sound like a lot and then oh it's then i calculated oh it's 15 starks units and then oh it's again mm -hmm. 15 breath in units and it's it's 14 merc units and you can take one merc unit and one yep. breath in or stark unit and i think for me if you like list building Here's where the the real fun part became paradise. Um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you start with uh, when I started to build these lists. I uh, obviously I took a commander first, and then I thought about, yeah. okay, which one, which unit of the thirty Baratheon and Stark units do I want to take? And this year can't be complete because um, thirty units. That's a lot. But we will show us or ideas our impressions but you can uh, show us some lists um, in the comments maybe of your choice with uh, some Barestian or Stark units we didn't mention here because it's impossible to mention all 30 units it's, yeah we can't do this yeah I mean obviously we have some Baratheon units that are stronger than the other ones we have Stark units that where you know that that are met, yes. met, met, met like like meta 
meta influencing units Definitely. and not not so much but still the whole the, the when you think about it that you um i heard car stark loyalists already within lady stoneheart i heard yes. so many different things you could think about and um my main my main question that still remains is what yeah what 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 are we all talking about throughout december january do we find this is 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 the whole game leading into this new meta of the brotherhood is basically can build lists that that you know that that pretty much break the game at least in some matchups is that happening is that not happening i'm i'm really not sure but yeah that's that so that basically displays you or sh shows you how uh complicated it will be for simon to patch this throughout yes. the throughout the game and um yeah let's just see let's just hope for the best that it that 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 it stays um stays as balanced as it is right now so let's start with the first list martin and guide us through it and the first one uh will be the barrack commander list yeah i choose barrack here in a unit of uh, stormcrow dervishes because barrack has assault orders in his uh, deck he brings assault orders to the table and he brings sentinel and the stormcrow dervishes have the ability that they can uh, retreat after attacking and um my idea with this list um to use barrack like a like a ball he's bouncing in bouncing out bouncing mm -hmm. in bouncing out and with all the retreats it's very hard to for your opponent to to imagine, oh, where will Beric be next time? And because of Sentinel and because of Assault Orders, he can have two or three retreats easily. No. And that was the main thing here. And I also like his Lightbringer card. Uh, after he completes an attack, um, he can uh, make you panic and mm. do another panic test. Minus ranks of the destroyed unit correct yeah. yeah and if he's killing one or two unit uh, one or two ranks and the stormcrow mercs have ambush so as uh, the stormcrow um, dervishes have ambush so they attack you they will do some damage then they retreat you make a panic test minus one because or minus two let's say minus one it's in the flank with the panic token you can um, manipulate this test, then you retreat just a little bit, like this, like the one inch to yep. attack again, and then you play this card. Um, there's another minus, let's say minus two, and then another panic token, and with a little bit of luck here and there, he can one shot a unit. And then I think that is pretty, pretty strong. And in a perfect world, he attacks something in the flank, which is engaged by the, I think it's the best unit of the brotherhood's versatile vice the peasants because they bring gang up and gang up it's eight dice on two it's wonderful yeah absolutely what i was thinking about when i first saw it was that ambush and lightbringer are also fueling the brotherhood archers because they're yeah. firing in with hidden shot with wish vicious and precision precision yeah. is you know a little bit luck dependent but but vicious um, and you and and you probably did did not spend all the panic token you threw out throughout the attacks right you, so you go in you make them panicked you probably you, you might not use the panic because it, it goes through already yeah, so you sure. retreat out of it something happens brotherhood archers firing into it because they you know it's a 14 threat range they don't need any line of sight or anything they just need the range firing into it with uh, with vicious I mean yeah. probably in the side even. So, right with the peasants as a, as a as a as a line in front of it, right? So, yeah, can be pretty tough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's true. Yeah. So maybe 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 you can tell us something about the 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 NCU um, setup. So why? I mean, I mean to 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 use Thoros with this idea of bringing two peasants in the front line is pretty obvious, as yeah. is. Lord Varys, in terms of healing at least, but tell us about the go uh, Ghost of High Heart and Lord Varys in, in uh, yeah, Lord, yeah, in yeah. Wh what do you think? Yeah, Lord Varys is for flexibility. Varys, in my opinion, is one of the strongest NCUs, maybe the strongest NCU because he's able to kill 
units with the crown zap. It's a little bit luck dependent, mm. um, but you can be with all the panic tokens. You can help him a little bit, or if someone is not aware of, oh, I'm taking swords, I'm hitting you, and then there is this uh, heavy beaten up unit, and then then take three hits, please. And that's I like him very very much. And when I have a third in the U slot open, and um, I basically always take various mm -hmm. yeah, and the ghost is very very strong because of the peasants they will lose ranks yeah because they have uh, uh, armor of six they will lose ranks and then that's when the ghost begins to shine with all these tokens and she's she's a wonderful ncu i would say she's at the moment obviously she's the go-to ncu of the brotherhood like like Catelyn stark for the starks like like Lady Ilaria for Martells, like like Balon for um for Greyjoys, maybe King Joffrey for Lannisters, and I think it's fine because every faction has this go-to NCU that is going to help you, that will bring a lot of value to your army, and I think that's that's totally fine. Uh, mm. Spoilers ahead, she will be in all three lists, but I think there is no reason not to take her here. Yeah, probably not. You know, um, is there any like d deeper reason for the writers of High Garden? I mean, more than it's just an incredible unit for six points, um, or it, it's a, it's it, it's an, a, uh, an incredible uh, six point calf unit. Um, is there any deeper deeper um, yeah thinking behind writers of High Garden? Yeah, they're incredibly good unit. They are fast. And again, in a perfect world here, when the unit is already in melee with the peasants, maybe I can bring the riders um, into the flank of the other unit and then they hit with 10 dice on twos. And then it even doesn't matter if they uh, have a disorderly charged 10 dice on twos will be six, seven, no, no, seven, eight hits, maybe nine. And they will hit you very, very, very hard. Mm. And even if you can attack back to back with these guys, you start with 10 dice on twos, and then it's again six dice on twos mm. with minus one of thundering, minus two because of the flank. And I think uh, they are the perfect unit here. They bring me damage and they bring me speed. And it was basically the choice here. Oh, I've got, got six point left. Yeah. Uh, let's take the riders of High Garden here. Yeah, what I do like about uh, this list, and especially because of the, you know, the whole Brotherhood has a lot of movement ability yeah. through the base deck, and uh, what I what I really like about it, the, the the fact here is it's an eight activation list, so it really fuels into what Brotherhood is trying to do, right? Pushing the front line into your opponent, having the disrupt out. So basically, through the healing and the disrupt. And the overall gameplay, they will sustain way longer than yeah. your opponent might think. I mean, we will all will, yeah, us all will will learn how to play against it. But for now, a lot of players will 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 go into it thinking, this is a four point unit. I have to kill it quickly to push through the important units or to get my mission done. Um, but it won't happen that easily, right? At Spiel yeah. in, in Essen, I, I I was able to to watch two games, and um, yeah, those peasants. Let me tell you, those th th those guys are way more resilient than you think. And this eight activation list really makes um, makes it hard for your opponent to calculate because let's just think about the Forgotten Fellowship, for example, which enables yeah. you to you know start of any round. You can target whatever whatever unit. Let's say the Riders of High Garden. They just do yeah, a free march. <laughs> yeah, they just do a free march, right? And then they are perfectly perfectly in position to 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 flank a unit and go in there with nine dice uh, on a on a on a three. Um, so I mean, right? With all this movement and the eight activation and all that kind of stuff, um, yeah, it can be a really um, yeah devastating list. For es yeah, yeah. especially for certain matchups. Yeah, I think the best way uh, we want to help the opponents of the Brotherhood here as well, I think the best way to deal with the peasants are abilities like various auto hits, like hold the line, mm. like like shoot them, um, because then there is no disrupt. 
um, those are abilities who will make their life very, very hard, but in close combat, those guys are tough. They're yeah. pretty tough. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and your normal unit, your five point unit, was they only hit you on five, and five is not a lot. No? And then there may be the bog or a hedge yeah. or a weakened token. And yeah, those guys are pretty, pretty tough. Yeah, obviously, and and especially with the ghost of High Heart, right? I mean, she yeah. goes out, she goes out. You are you you know that your opponent are are in the process of hitting, let's say, the peasants with hot pie, because you really do 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 not want to mess with the peasants with Gendry, because they are even resilient and have probably have improved defense or anything, right? So you do not want to mess with that unit, like anytime soon and then you put the ghost of high heart uh, um, uh, uh, high heart to the peasants yeah. with 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 hot pie right so they get a five morale so they're not real not 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 even really um vulnerable to 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 panic tests anymore no so yeah and if you do you become vulnerable and weakened i mean even better right so um yeah yeah, totally, to, to, totally uh, the thing that your brotherhood opponent wants to do with you. So probably don't do it, right? Do not fall into the trap of getting into this this four point uh, gun line in front, or this protective line. Um, yeah, I was thinking about the list with five units of peasants, three NCUs, yeah. only thirty two points, and then you have got a eight point elite unit. Let's say your Stark. Uh, mm -hmm. Tully Knights and then some NCU there and the peasants when two peasants support each other they can hit you pretty good for a four point unit as well yeah through the gang have, up yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. and you have uh, nine activations that's also pretty good but you need five units of peasants <laughs> yeah true true absolutely all right so let's go to the um, second list which makes yeah. use of Thoros uh, commander and obviously he's in Kingsman, right? I mean, that, that, that's the thing. That's the thing I was like right off the bat was yeah. thinking about when I saw him, not only lore wise, but also like in terms of gameplay, it, it, it takes away a little bit like like the sundering on both cards, like uh, his ability, the, the, the prayers of Roller is a little wasted, the sundering piece, yeah. but still, um, yeah, him together with the Kingsman is, is like, you know, it's like a peanut butter jelly. It just, it, it just fit, Fits right in. Yeah, so guide us through the list, man. Yeah. Uh, um, here, Soros is perfect for the Kingsman because he gives them a three-up morale with a Werewolf Tree Hero and two-up morale. And from all my games against Kingsman or Queensman or basically to the last units, uh, you count on to the last. You count on that to the last is going to go off. And then it go doesn't go off the first time. And mm. then it doesn't go off the second time. We've all been through that. And yep. then your Kingsman are gone. And yeah. it's like, ah, damn, they should stay here for two more to the last. Yeah. And with three or two up morale here, it's not going to happen. And it ruins the mathematics of your opponent as well because um, he thinks, ah, maybe a five plus, he can miss it. But then it's like, oh, two plus, it's an auto pass. There is no mm. rule. So two ones is a fail. That That's not correct. I hear this here and there. So no, it's not correct. Yeah. Uh, you pass the test auto, and then they stay there. And for my NCUs, I have uh, the banker from the Iron Bank. Mm -hmm. He can heal them up. And my friends, the knights, also can heal them up. And you think two or three times here if you want to mess here with my king's man. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the Sundering is double, it's wasted. But I think it's fair because of this morale buff, this, this thing that just goes off. And so I think you can double the thundering. It's it's not optimal, but I just think it's a it's a little price to pay for yeah, yeah, yeah. to the last. Yeah. Obviously, yeah, yeah. And even I know the last kiss. I mean, the 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 one tactics card from from Thoros is a little situational, and True. you pro. I, but but still, I mean, how thematic is it? How how lo how. <laughs> how close to lore is it and like yeah. if they die if the kingsman die and you can probably put him into the brotherhood uh um uh archers or the or or the peasants even probably probably the peasants right yeah. um yeah at least it can be a thematic thing to do yeah but you can also have get Gendry and hot pie and maybe one or two is going to die and then i can put one of those guys into the kingsman that would be nice as well Oh yeah, 
You mean Kingsman with resilience? Yeah. 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 Sounds good to me. <laughs> so, so, sounds good. Yeah. Absolutely. So what's the what's the idea behind the Brotherhood Sworn Knights? I mean, it's it's um, we we when when we when we had the list um, or th when we thought about the list of Thoros, we were our first um, intention was again to put it put together an eight activation list. But we think that this seven activation list with the Brotherhood Sworn Knights can also uh, be a good one. And the the first thing you already mentioned is the the additional heal to to keep the Kingsman alive. Is there anything else with this unit? I mean, is, which you can think of, or is everything set on this? Yeah, they have uh, a glory seeker here, so they basically uh, immune to panic damage, and they are pretty tough hitting unit. They are fast. I needed a cavalry as well, um, and. Again, if they attack something that is engaged with the peasants, they heal up the peasants, so there can be more tokens from the from the witch, and they hit you like on eight dices on two on the flank with thundering. That's pretty pretty tough. So those knights are very very good. Yeah, we actually forgot the glory seeker on this one. Yeah, but, but he's the there. Seeker. Yeah, yeah, but yeah he's we, there. we calculated. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so it, it has only it, it it so so it has also a lot of sustain through the glory seeker. Yeah. Especially the ghost can also bring him even even more down to a three morale maybe in the right yeah. moment to 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 have them backed up. Um, yeah, yeah. So that's on the second list. Um, so let's go to the third one. All right. So here it is. Um, the third list making use of Catelyn Stark, Lady Stoneheart. Another eight activation list. Um, yeah. So let's go, Martin. What do you, what, uh, what are your thoughts, uh, thoughts on the third list? Yeah, I think here it's very nice to use Catelyn in a unit of hard-hitting um, melee infantry because of the card Vengeance and Blood. Because mm. also another mobility shenanigan, uh, she can maneuver herself into the flank. Again, same theme as basically in every Brotherhood list. The peasants go for build a wall, and then Catelyn comes from the flank, and they will hit you pretty hard with uh, with the card, with all the with all her abilities, with the abilities of the uh, men at arms, and because it's symmetrically she she was a Tully because now she's dead. Uh, I brought in some Tully knights yep. also. Tully knights ten dice on two with prize of failure. She has prize of failure and ooh, ten auto hits on two, and minus two on morale uh, on on armor. If you're coming from the flank, that's perfect. And also she has got lash out and lash out for is the perfect card for the peasants here. Yeah. They will lose some guys here, and then you also have to calculate damn those peasants and they will give me two or four wounds. Yeah, that's that's pretty good. The archers also are here for a little bit chip damage here and there. Um. I think, yeah, you need to be aware of Catelyn. Uh, I, on the internet, there is you only can play Beric Dondarrion, but I think that's not correct. She's good as well. Very, very um, mm. movement shenanigans. Um, she makes one unit basically to a black card. That's also tough because yeah. you always think oh, even better oh, with intimidating yeah. presence, right? Oh yeah, you're right. Yeah, even yeah. better. But, uh, yeah, yeah, and that's yeah, she's good. And um, maybe you can give to make her even faster. Maybe you can put her in berserkers, but then I have no lance knights. And I wanted to have uh, the Tully lance care the theoretically because yeah. she was a Tully and 10 dice on two on, on um, twos or 10 or nine dice with auto hits with price of failure, I think. Why two exactly? Oh, Why two? Uh, uh, two because when they're gang up, they um, oh, because of gang up, yeah, yeah because yeah, of gang up, yeah, 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 two. yeah. yeah. But even if you attack, you have got nine, you have got all those auto hits, and I think all commanders with price of failure should use a lance calf mm. for this immense amount of damage, yeah, yeah. And again, like, and and again, we 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 have the um NCU setup of Thoros for the healing, which is you know, which is excellent for 
You have the Ghost of High Heart for the plus yeah. one morale, which again can be for the peasants be really good. Could be good for the for the cavaliers even. Yeah. Um, I mean, obviously for the men at arms, but you're probably yeah. going for um, doing some kind of passive damage with them and loot like through lash out. You want you you probably want to lose a rank maybe at some point. So, yeah. but and then we have Jacken in to to double the Ghost of High Heart. So have two units, probably the two peasants in the beginning, yeah. like in th second and third round, to have both with a five morale. And if you hit them, you become vulnerable and weakened. And probably uh, if with the right opponent, you could even copy a great influence from across the board. I mean, this is a pretty, yeah. at least a pretty second list you can bring to the table. Yeah. So uh, probably not the first. And you might think about Varys again because he's so versatile. You could think about Peter in certain yeah. matchups. Um, but Jacken is definitely a thing which is not wasted with the Ghost of High Heart on your side. Definitely not. Yeah, yeah. definitely not. And it fuels the gameplay of um, the whole Brotherhood. Yeah, we should also mention here because at the start of the video we said um, Brotherhood has always 44 units to choose off if you're playing Catelyn Commander, then the, you are not allowed, obviously because of the Red Wedding. Uh, Boltons are gone, so you Lannisters, can... Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah, so it's not 44 units, it's less unit, but um, yeah, you will get the point. We just mentioned it to be correct here. Yeah, true, true. So you do not have the whole the whole axis, yeah. right, when playing but, her. But I yeah. think it, it's okay. It's yeah, it's okay. Just a couple of units. It's okay. Yeah. Like, just as a side note, what do you think about her um, Her NCU ability is um, is basically um, 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 basically an enemy influence which you put out. And this, this unit where she's attached always suffers a wound, right? And... Um, Friendly combat units may reroll any attack dice when performing melee attacks against this unit. How do you feel about the NCU when you compare the NCU to the commander? What would you rather pick? Is it is it like is it also a, is 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 Catelyn Stark the Hang Woman a good NCU to yeah to to give up the commander? What do you think? Uh, I think she is she or uh, her ncu and her commander are both equal it's a uh, matchup dependent mm. if you have let's say my five peasant units from the beginning they don't care if they uh, five units of peasants they don't care if they get a wound but you're playing against a, a giant list a mother of dragons with mm -hmm. a lot of um or very like yeah. Yeah, yeah, exactly. yeah, yeah exactly yeah, yeah. your cat will get some some wounds um, I think I will take her for those matchups because mm -hmm. giants don't like her, dragons don't like her, the cat and the wolf don't like her, yeah. even Veramir don't like her, and I think she's she's good. And it's not like like Balon Commander and Balon NCU. You basically never see Balon Commander because Balon NCU is wonderful. Mm -hmm. But here I think it's it's fifty fifty. It's even. You can take her, and she will bring some value. And you need, again. If you combine her with Varys, you need to be careful. Varys can take out the the hits, and maybe in combination with the with the tokens from the ghost uh, from your peasant mm -hmm. Einheit, uh, losing some ranks. Yeah, and then she she brings you some wounds here and there. I like her. She she's good. Okay. All right. So that brings us to the end of those three lists. Um, yeah, maybe a final note on this one. Um, if you. Um, if you like the list, if you if you think we missed anything on any particular unit, I mean, obviously, there is so much to choose from. So yeah. there are obviously things we didn't consider or didn't didn't um, um, didn't 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 show here today. But maybe you can drop a comment down below to uh, show us your like your go to best list you could think about uh, on the Brotherhood because I'm saying this because each and every one of you guys that drops a list in the comment section has the chance to win one promo of Vargo Hoat um, so don't be shy drop your comment down below and show us your your most favorite Brotherhood list. We will pick randomly in one of our next videos, and you are have the chance to to win uh, the yeah the pretty pretty rare Vargo Hold promos promo miniature 
That's the one with the gold helmet. I can show it once more. So that's him. Can you see it? Yeah. yeah. So he's that he's that guy with that with that gold helmet. Um, pretty rare one. So yeah, just drop it down below. Yeah. So I think there's nothing more to say, Martin. Thanks for being here. Thanks for showing us the lists. And um, yeah, as always, guys, roll those crits. Come for the hits and stay for the crits.